Well, hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Won't you be, <laughs> won't you be, won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> hey, neighbors. It's good to see each and every one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pastor Daner and I, Pastor Damon, are here, and we're coming to you. Um, man, it's been so great connecting with all of you on social media and online. We know in these times it's important to do so. So, uh, Pastor Dana holding to his promise. Uh, I'm here to help him out. We are going to make it through the rest of the alphabet. I know yeah. some of you are looking to collect because you didn't think it was going to happen. My man has come through and we're going to do it. So we're going to do about a minute, minute and a half of finishing out the letters, um, walking through that dream series. Uh, if you haven't seen Dream Series, maybe you're new with us today, please go back. You can, you can go back and see all of the letters uh, on our website and, and our social media sites. Connect with us that way. But we're going to finish out the rest of the letters here and really encourage you to dream. Why? Because there's people around you that need to hear this information. God's Word is alive and it's powerful. And now more than ever, we need to be teaching people how to dream. This is when you do the work. This is when you can dive into the Word. So I'm excited to have Pastor Dana here, and we're going to give it to you straight from God's Word. Yeah, so I don't know how many of you wagered against me, but now is the time to collect the bets. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know if you caught the neighbor thing, but look at these Maryland shoes, baby. Oh Aren't they gosh. sweet? National champs, that's what Pray they say. Pray for our pastor. Pray for <laughs> our pastor, please. So, so listen to me. We talk about dream and visioning in a, in, a, in a tough time and perilous times and trouble sometimes. But the truth is we, we probably all agree that America may not look exactly the same. May, things may change a little bit. Yeah. Now's your time to dream and be on top of it. God can speak to you now about a vision, about a dream of something you can do, something you can impact the world, how you can change the world. And so... Um, this this is a great time. So Pastor Damon's going to start us off. So actually, um, Davy Blackburn, we appreciate yeah. Davy. Davy did our P's and Q's, and then we called him the X Factor. So he, he snuck it in on us. He got the X in. So we got the X in. The X Factor is Davy Blackburn. <laughs> he was the X Factor. So Damon's taken off. First letter, yeah. it's all yours. Well, the first letter I want to dive into is R, and for R, what we chose is resolute. Man, I think it's a perfect word, especially for now. Um, if this dream is going to come to pass, if the, the, the feelings and the things that God put inside of you, you're going to have to be resolute. You're going to have to stand strong. You're going to have to hold on to it. Why? Because, of course, we, we fight a real enemy and we're surrounded by it right now. But I'm telling you, anything that God gave you, he's going to be with you. But you have to show that resolute sense of, of, of being within you. And the scripture that came to mind, Psalm 5110, uh, in the English Standard Version says this, creating me, and many of you know this, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. And or in another version says steadfast or resolute. Good. Keep within me that spirit, that resolute spirit. So there's some things that we're going to have to stand on and we're going to have to make sure we hold on to because you're going to get pressed on every side. And I'm telling you, with God, all things are possible, but you got to have that resolute spirit. So R is resolute. Be resolute in your dreams. Great. Love it. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.